Hey there guys, so today we have another review and obviously always fun changing up the location where my, my friend's place right now. Uh, but what we have here is Grim Artisanal Ales Sumi Ink. So uh, again, the usual wonderful label on that, just really cool uh, kind of abstract impressionism uh, going on there a little bit. And so this is an imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels with vanilla. So there you go. Um, this is actually a different beer than their uh, double negative, their famous uh, imperial stout. Uh, they decided to change the base beer, you know, create a beer specifically for barrels. And uh, this beer rocks in at 13.5%. So uh, first impressions have never had this beer before. So let's again. Uh, beer is nice and really nice and black, but there's a wonderful uh, little bit of like uh, dark brown coming through on the edges. Not too much of that film sticking to the glass, a little bit of like uh, alcohol legs, a um, little bit of carbonation, too much of it. Let's get the aroma on this one. You get a nice kind of burst of dark fruit, a little bit of that Bourbon County kind of quality gets like uh, alcohol soaked, bourbon soaked cherry note. A nice sweetness, a little bit like even like maraschino. Not overly roasty, again, that kind of like big, uh, sweet, bourbony kind of quality. I believe their theory, by the way, is to age their burn barrel aged beers for somewhere around where Avery does it, uh, maybe three months. So uh, you really get a bright kind of barrel character. It smells fantastic. Cheers. Mmm. Very nice. Wow, that's very good. Whoa. That is very good. As it develops on the palate, it's very nice. Wow. So up front, you're following along with that kind of just theme of vanilla flavor. Um, reminds me a little bit of vanilla rye, but it's not as intense in that kind of, again, vanilla extract kind of aroma and flavor. It's a little bit more tamed down than that, but again, very much uh, vanilla forward. Vanilla beans for days. You get more of that dark fruit. Some of that kind of like, a little bit of like uh, dark cherry and plum kind of character coming from up from the base out. A nice medium to full sharp attack. A bourbon, alcohol, opening up the palate. The base beer is actually, yeah, um, not offering too much rose. 13.5, it's a huge beer. We're talking about a beer almost around the range of Bourbon County. But it doesn't really offer that kind of uh, rich sweetness, that fudge character. It really is um, a little pulled back and really get the vanilla and bourbon character uh, with the base stout just holding the beer up, but a really big ba a base stout for sure. As I wait more, I'm getting a little bit more of that kind of like um, chewy milk chocolate kind of note, a little bit of like light kind of... Um, if you had maybe like a blondie with chocolate chips in it, you know, not the big chewy decadent uh, familiar, uh, you know, chocolate brownie, more like a blondie with like chocolate chips sprinkled in there. But yes, very nice transitioning. The dark fruit comes through, the bourbon comes through. Nice vanilla note, nice and dry, a little bit of alcohol just dragging on the palate. Absolutely fantastic. If I had to give this a rating, whew, very good. We're talking on the level where I would argue that I'd probably want to drink this more than vanilla rye. Uh, despite how good vanilla rye is, despite how good that base beer is, um, probably might want to drink this more. I'm not quite sure, but we're, we're talking in that range. Let's go with something like a... Wow, that's very good. 99 plus? Why not? 99 plus, there you guys go. 99 plus, absolutely delicious. This is Grimm's Sumi Inc. Definitely seek this one out. This is a world-class, absolutely amazing vanilla barrel-aged Imperial Stout. Until next time, guys, cheers. Grimm is the best. Thank you so much, guys. Later.